So in this video, I'm going to show you the new Smart Mask tool I created to paint death maps directly in After Effects. So I'm uh, in a new file here, a Volumax file. I'm going to go in uh, my Your Picture composition. I'm going to drag and drop my picture. We're going to work on this one. And everything is going to be done in After Effects. So we're going in Your Displacement Map. Here I already activated the Smart Mask tool. So you have to activate the tool. It's OK. And enter in it by double clicking. Here is the Smart Mask tool. Uh, first of all, we have to create masks. So I'm going to double click to create the mask. Create the mask in, a la in layers close, mid, and far. Here are the, the three layers, close, mid, and far. And you can create up to three masks per layer. Uh, in each layer, in the close, the mid, or the far, you can create three masks. Uh, then, uh, very important, you have to extend the mask far out of the borders. More info in the help layer. I created a help layer over here, just activate it to see it. And here you have some explanations on how this works. And uh, on this picture, you can see the close layer over here, it's in the front. The mid one over here in orange, uh, going back over here. And the last one, the far. Uh, going in the back. And very important, you have to leave the farthest area empty because this is going to create the last depth in the, the picture. And what is very important in the Smart Mask tool is that you have to create your mask uh, by going far out of the borders. You just have to imagine how the object uh, is out of the border over here. So, I'm going to deactivate the help file um, and I'm going to start with the close mask. Okay? I'm going to take my pen over here, my pen tool, and start drawing uh, a mask for this one. And you don't need to be super sharp over here. Okay, so this this should do it. I have to go further. I'm going to do like this. Okay, this is the first one. Then I'm going to create my mid mask over here. I'm going to say that it's the hill over here. You can change while you are drawing like this. Can adjust. Okay, I'm going to extend once again this layer out of the borders like this. Okay. And the last one is the for for mask. And uh, for this one, I'm going to say it's just the hills going over here. Okay, maybe this one, like this. I'm gonna say like this. Okay. And I'm finishing by extending in the borders, like this. So, we have done the hardest part over here. We have the closed, the close mask over here, the mid mask, and the far mask. And we didn't draw the background over there, the farthest zone in the picture. We're going back uh, in the Smart Mask Tool composition over here. And now we're going to go on the Control Layer. Here you can see the first one. We have activated the checkbox named Show Mask. And if you deactivate it, you can see that your death map is painted already. I'm going to show you how all this works. I'm going to start by taking this one off so we can see better how the volumize 
works. If you put it at zero, it's basically going to show you the closed mask, uh, a full uh, bright uh, gray, the mid one and the far one, and the background is going to be black. So if you volumize it like this, if you go very far, you're just going to give a lot of um, 3D effect on your hills over here, and you're going to blend uh, the masks and the depth uh, all along from the close one to the farthest one. I recommend uh, starting at default value 50 and trying to adjust around this. For this one, I'm going to keep 50. Then we have the detailer strength. This is an automatic detailer based on the original picture. So this is showing the detailer. I'm going to put it maybe at 75. And uh, this is going to give you the sharpness of this of the details. Here they are very sharp over here. And they're going to be very blurry and smooth if you go at zero. At this one maybe uh, we can just put it like this. It seems okay. It's going to give you some extra details um, on the mountains, on the hills. Then you can adjust uh, the Z positions of each of the three masks we created. If you think maybe the mid one is too close, then you can get it in the back like this. Or put it brighter to come in front. And you can do this for each layer. Okay, I'm going to go back in uh, show mask mode. And this is uh, basically the working mode, because you have some options here. Uh, they are optional, but I can see uh, that on my depth map, there's maybe something I could get maybe better over here, because if you take a look uh, over here, you have something maybe brighter coming in front over here on this hill, and something going maybe farther in the back over here. So I'm going to to create these um, bright and dark zones. And you can see that this is exactly what I'm showing in the help file over here. I'm going to do a bright zone, a dark zone over here. And it's going to just, you can see it over here, it's going to be brighter and darker. Um, this is just explaining how this, all this works. I will show you later the help tool on the next picture. Okay, so I'm going to create um, a lighten zone like this. Over here, I'm going to do this very fast. Okay, let's say like this. Of course, you can adjust it uh, like you want, like this. You can even delete it if you want and create another one, and this will work. But I'm going to keep um, the one I created later. You have to activate it. And we're going to check when we go back uh, hiding the mask if it works. So here you can see it's going to bright uh, the depth map in this zone. You have some options over here. You have the opacity. Uh, for me, 100 is the maximum. You can go farther, but if you do this, you're just going to get um, uh, in the foreground. And we're working actually on the mid one. And this is coming in front of the close mask. So this is not recommended. So the maximum value, 100, normally should work 90% uh, 90, 90 of the time. OK, uh, you can blur it more or less like this. Okay. 250 seems to be a good value for this picture. I'm going to show the mask and I want to be a bit darker over here because we can see uh, this is quite flat. Even if the details are uh, giving a little bit of volume, it's not going far enough for me. So I'm going to use the darken zone. I'm going to delete this one and create a new one like this. Okay, don't need to be very sharp because this is going to be kind of blurry. I'm going to take the mask off, activate the darken like this, and you can see this is already okay. Once again, you can adjust 
For this one, maybe it could be a little bit sharper over here. Okay, so uh, actually, you can leave it like this uh, on the mask preview or like this, it will work anyway. You can see now that if you go in your displacement map, the smart mask tool is activated like this. And uh, we are going to test this one in the main com 4K where we are going to do our animation. Okay, this is nice. Uh, if you see some distortions, maybe like this one here, okay? Uh, once again, you can just use the relax uh, option here. Okay. We're going to test the um, parallax zoom. Okay. And the left right. Up and down. Okay. Um, I opened a new Polymax file. I'm going in your picture. I'm going to put my picture over here. Okay, I'm going to scale it so it's okay in the, um, in the composition. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of questions uh, on the comments. People saying, oh, my picture is too big or too small. Well, this is quite easy because uh, you can resize it. Uh, and here, my picture is uh, bigger, so I'm just going to resize it over here. Um, then I'm going in your displacement map. I'm going to activate the smart mask tool. There is no work done over here, so I'm, go I'm going to go in the smart mask tool. Okay, I'm going to create my mask. So, I'm going to create my closed mask over here. Okay, growing the borders once again. I'm going to say this one over here, um, this part of the picture over here is going to be my mid realm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to follow the trees over here, maybe like this, okay, something like this, doing this very fast. You don't need to be super precise, uh, once again, doing this work, because everything is going to be, to be a bit blurred by the relax, um, the relax uh, in the main comp. Okay. Growing the border, the borders once again, uh, and in the four mask, I'm going to do um, two masks in this one. I'm going to do this part of the mountain over here and this one over there. Okay, let's say like this. Okay, growing the borders. And I'm going to create another one over here. Okay, and finishing by growing the borders over here. Okay, we have our close, mid, and far. And the farthest over there, I'm not going to do it. And uh, I'm sure you remarked that um, I didn't create uh, the lake over here. But, of course, uh, the lake has to be in the mid, in the far zone. Okay, so we are now back in the Smart Mask tool over here. I'm going to take the floor layer. Of course, this works also with water, with streets. And I'm going to pull this one just to match with the lake over there. Okay, so now we can see we have our close layer, mid layer, and four layers over here. And uh, with the white stripes, you can see the floor. We're going to take a look at um, our depth map here by unchecking the mask preview. Okay, this is not bad. I'm going to take this, the, the detailer of strengths over here off, so we can just work to get this uh, more accurate. 
First of all, I'm going to take the floor and try to match it like this. You can see uh, it's going to change the black zone and we can also adjust the white in the foreground. But here we don't want to have the water too close because if you go back in the um, in the mask preview, you can see that uh, the water is quite far away from the camera over here. So I'm going to let the foreground uh, at the same place over here and I'm going to adjust so my uh, four layers, the two ones here, are just matching with the, ma the water at the bottom. This is not bad. We have a problem on the mid ground over here. And for that, we're going to use uh, our um, lighten, darken, and the blur zone. And I'm going to use the blur zone to get something smooth over there. Okay, I'm going to blur all this so it's going to be smooth in the depth map. Okay, this is nice. We have our close uh, mask over here, quite bright. We have the mid-ground and the background. And everything seems smoothly uh, going in the background and matching with the water. I'm going to put back a little bit of details over here, not too much. Okay, so we can see the, um, um, the trees over there. and uh, We're going to try like this. 